I've had it. I'm not watching any more of this nonsense. I'm out of here. Roger! Come back! Come back, Roger! Oh, Roger! Lumen Reads Legendary Players and the Games They Played presents... The Ricky McGuire Story. Hello, I'm Lumen Reed, and welcome to our profile of Ricky McGuire, the youngest chess grandmaster and world champion of the game. He has been called a youthful phenomenon, obscure boy genius, and a prodigy extraordinaire. In this program, you'll discover why. Ricky's journey started early. At the age of just one and a half, young Ricky was already fascinated with the family chess set that held a prominent position in his family sitting room. Ricky's sister, Eliza McGuire Larkovec, remembers. The what? The chess set in your family's sitting room. Oh, yes. What about it? Can you describe it? Well, it was square with a bunch of smaller squares on it. And it had a lot of wooden things that were carved to look like different stuff. Ricky's father, Zacharias McGuire, a collector of prints, was a great devotee of chess. He was known to have spent a good part of his life studying the intricacies of the game. Oh, he was completely crazy for it. Barking mad he was. It drove mother and I nuts. Day in and day out, it was chess this and chess that with him. Oh my goodness, don't get me started. Well, Ricky took a liking to it, you know. But as for Mother and I, we wished the game had never been invented. So you never played? Oh my goodness, no. Zacharias taught Ricky from the very beginning, taking him through his paces, move by move. Young Ricky learned technique, strategy, how to plan attacks, when to hold back, and most important of all, he learned how to lure his opponents into his web of intimidation. That's how he won all those tournaments. He befuddled his opponents to the point where they would crumble right in front of him. It was almost like hypnotism. Spooky it was. And the end result was always the same. Ricky won. Ricky started competing in chess tournaments at the age of seven and propelled himself to the world stage by the age of ten. Ricky relished the competition, winning title after title. It was like he couldn't get enough. He just had to keep winning. It was an obsession. How was his home life during this period? Oh, he was never home. He was always traveling to play. It was great. I used his bedroom as an extra closet. I had so much room, it was wonderful. In fact... But then Ricky went to Paris, right? Yes. That's where it happened. He won the world championship. It was a hot summer afternoon. Rival competitor, and then world champion, Soren Christensen, met Ricky in Paris for the big showdown. Archival footage shows the moment when Ricky became the world champion in chess, at the age of only 12. All the jubilation that comes with winning at the highest level was short-lived for Ricky. No explanation has ever been given to shed light on what happened. To this day, it remains a mystery. Ricky simply vanished. You know, he reveled in all the fame and attention, but after that world championship, it all stopped. Something changed in him. And he was just gone. No one knew where he went father, mother, everyone in his entourage. We were all baffled by the disappearance. Many years later, Ricky was spotted playing chess at a cafe in Vienna, Austria. Ricky, seen here on the left, sat next to a window 
attracting thrilled onlookers that watched his every move. Ricky again had his opponent under his spell. But just as quickly as he had reappeared, he vanished once again. Later still, Ricky emerged for a short period with his then-signature top hat and played from time to time in exhibition games. Ricky's last known appearance for a game of chess was at a home in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Benjamin Eakins, a successful calligrapher and writing master, stood looking on as Ricky, on the left, once again bedazzled his opponent and triumphed at the game yet one more time. Ricky passed away shortly thereafter and was laid to rest next to his parents in their family plot. We hope you've enjoyed our study of the great Ricky McGuire. Join us again next time for another view inside the lives of legendary players and the games they played. I'm Lumen Reed. Good night. And now, 30 seconds of... Sir Isaac Newton, Discovering Gravity. Ow! 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 Uh, wait a minute! That's gravity! Of course it is! It's gravity! <laughs> Eureka! Lemons. I love lemons. So tangy. I love lemons so much. So tart. So sharp. So tangy and delicious. I love lemons. Don't get the juice in my eye. I got the juice in my eye. I got the juice in my eye. It stings. It hurts so much. Ow! But I love lemons. So delicious. So tangy and good. Lemons. So tart. I love lemons so much. Lemons!